Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are doing another Forzathon guide uh, for this week's Forzathon which wants you to drive either the 2005 BMW M3 or the 2006 Audi RS4 uh, it's entirely down to yourselves which one you want to pick now I actually went for the 2006 Audi RS4 purely because we're in the winter month um, and it's all wheel drive with a Quattro system so as you can see here they're both cheap enough enough cars uh, but I'm sure you guys have them anyway again i've created my own tune for it it's called epic rs4 uh, because it's pushing 1200 brake horsepower uh, it's a very very quick car you won't be using all of that uh, power but it's definitely good to have um, and like i said it's got the all-wheel drive system for the winter so no worries there now the first one wants you to get 12 stars on a speed trap so i recommend going to the asmore speed sign uh, as it has the lowest high speed for three stars out of the majority of speed traps and it's very very easy Easy. so three stars is just 140 mile an hour which for this car is absolutely nothing um, so all you need is four runs uh, hitting over 140 mile an hour on the speed trap and you'll complete that challenge very very quickly and very very easily as you can see here um, now I managed to make this video uh, where you can see all of the challenges actually being completed uh, as for some reason it started an hour earlier today the, the, the season change um, and if you're wondering why it just changed from night to daytime uh, I lost a bit of footage uh, so I had to redo it but like I said I want to show you guys just how it's done I uh, only showed you three runs there, but you get the gist. It's very, very easy, very simple challenge there. It shouldn't take more than two minutes, maybe, because um, you don't actually have to have a massive run-up. Now, the next challenge just wants you to win three road series events uh, in either of the two cars. Now, I'm going to use the one that I created a couple of weeks ago called Super Quick. Um, you can jump onto this one uh, via the blueprint section by typing in the share code 208672 two eight two uh, and i'll show you exactly how to type that in so if you go over to the blueprints tab you hit the back button which is known as search on here uh, and then you type in the share code on there or if you want to go to the race it's the lakehurst forest sprint and all you have to do is win this three times but as i've created this blueprint sent the ai off onto a, a separate sort of trip on their own um, and it just gives you the chance to glide right on by uh, and complete each sort of race in about 10 seconds so it's actually longer waiting for them to all load and whatnot than it actually takes to do the race uh, so this is another very very easy challenge i say um, not really much of a challenge uh, because you'll get it done again in just a couple of minutes uh, depending on how long your loading times are but like i said nice simple challenge that one now the last one uh, after completing that one just wants you to get three uh, show off skills now a show off skill simply is when you get a pass skill um, but you're also drifting at the same time um, so it's actually easier than it sounds um, so i recommend just jumping into a normal race for this one now i went over to the moorhead wind farm circuit and i just hopped on the standard three lap race which i should have changed the blueprint because it is in winter and it makes it a little trickier um, but if you are struggling you can always turn down the difficulty to the lowest uh, and it should make life easier for you but like i said all it is is a drift skill and a pass skill at the same time so it's always best to wait for the bends now what i tend to do at the beginning of the race is just slow down completely and wait for everyone to overtake me uh, and then at the back of the pack you can enter a sort of a long drift or in a four-wheel drive car like this a power slide uh, into the bend and try and pass people at the back of the pack uh, or you can just draft behind them uh, and wait for a corner but as you can see here i'm just waiting for the rest of the pack to overtake uh, and this is why i did the three lap race because if you don't get them all in the first lap obviously you've got a couple more chances to get it um, so it is quite simple um, it's not too difficult that one to complete uh, anyway guys i hope that this video helped you out i uh, hope you enjoyed it if you did i would be very grateful if you could drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this um, i will also be releasing some new need for speed heat videos um, from tomorrow uh, so hopefully i'll see some of you guys on there but anyway a massive thank you guys all the best and take care